Hi, Spicewood fifth graders. It's Miss Rayborn here. I wanted to give you a quick kind of update on what you're going to see today and also review something from last week. So let's start there. Last week, you had a required participation grade that was something about value to fill out. It said fifth grade do first. I started grading these and I noticed that about a third of you have not done this yet. So I'm going to give you this week to get this done as well. This is your first three weeks of school assignment that you are turning in. It is important that you go in and fill this out. It's a quick reflection about what value means to you. Here's where you're going to find it because it's not where it was last week anymore. If you scroll down to the bottom of your page where you see old assignments, I had to click this down arrow and you're going to look for fifth grade. I changed the title. It said fifth graders participation assignment week two. You'll open that up and go from there. Okay, so just a quick comment about what does the word value mean to you? Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to do. If you have not done that yet, please take care of it first before you do anything else because we do need that grade. I'm putting them in at the end of the week and it's really important that you get it taken care of. Okay, I don't wanna give anybody um, an end because they missed out on just answering a question. Okay, so the next thing is that we really listened to your feedback from last week. You shared that you really enjoyed seeing tutorials and videos about how to shade. And I know this week is a short week, so I have a couple of things for you. Um, one, we have an awesome video, which you can see right here, of a local artist, and he's really inspiring. Uh, he is a football player and a self-taught value drawing um, portrait artist who works with drawing and value and shading in black and white. He also is so inspiring to me because he's using his um, creative talents to bring attention to things he um, cares deeply about. So on the next page, you're going to watch the video about him. He was on the news recently here in Austin and I saw him and then you get to fill out a question for him. So do you see right here in the center of my page, add your questions here. When you click that, it will open up its own Google form. You'll tell me your name, your classroom teacher, and what questions do you have? The reason that we're doing questions, I'm so excited to say, is that I reached out to him and he has agreed to talk with us. So later this week, Ms. Rayborn is going to have a Zoom meeting uh, with Mr. Ofes Nochuku, and he is going to answer our questions. So I need to know, what would you like to know from him? Next week, in our lesson will be the video of him answering our questions. So I hope you feel inspired by him like I did. Um, he's such a wonderful example for our unit of what we're learning and talking about right now, okay? So finish the participation question, number one from last week. Number two, watch the next video and contribute your questions. Number three, I found us a great video since you requested more video tutorials about how to shade forms, how to turn a circle into a sphere, how to turn a triangle into a pyramid, things like that. We're going to do some practicing with that this week. I know it's a short week. You won't be turning anything in. So um, just enjoy learning those tutorials. I do want you to start thinking about what you want your final drawing to be of. OK, so you're going to create a value drawing that expresses your beliefs and values in some way. We're going to kick that drawing off next week. If you wanted to do a quick sketch of what you think you might want to draw in your sketchbook, you could be a little bit ahead, which is great. Maybe you just want to kind of start thinking about it after you've been inspired by what you see today. That's also OK. So we'll start on our final project next week. I know it's a short week and today is all asynchronous learning. So you may have lots going on. It's always important to me not to overwhelm you. Please remember to use that feedback button. We used your feedback from last week to uh, make this week's assignment. You asked for more tutorial videos, so that's what we're doing this week. So please make sure that you are using that. If you're having trouble or if you have ideas, please remember to contribute a question. I'm very excited to hear what your questions are about this video, and I hope you have a great week. See you later. Happy Tuesday.